So today I'm going to try and uh, create uh, this circuit here using a circuit simulator called LT Spice. So this is uh, the, this is actually part of the Teradin's uh, theorem circuit, and uh, here we are trying to find the voltage between A and B in the current I here. So we try and use circuit simulation and uh, circuit simulator like LT Spice to carry out this work. First of, first of all, we have to start the LT Spice, and here you can start it from this uh, desktop. I put a shortcut already, so it's SCAT3. So you click on it, and you start. So here you can see it's LT Spice 4. Right. So um, first thing you need to do is you click on File, you click on New Schematic. Now you have to put the components, and right here we see here that we need the resistors and need some uh, voltages here so some batteries uh, so we have to put these on the on the LT spice so to do that you have to click on this this row there's a row of com um, components here actually and here one of the components is the resistor so we start with the resistor first left click then you see it's coming to the grid you can paste it on a grid before you paste you can actually rotate the resistor and that is by doing a control R you can rotate it pressing control R as you can see it rotates or you can mirror it pressing control E so you see there's a mirror image but right now we want to rotate it so that it's horizontal right so control R like that okay and so you place it on the schematic here and then we notice that we also want another resistor 20 ohm one so we place that one here R2 okay so we have already placed all the resistors there are two resistors, we have placed the resistors now we have to name the we have to actually uh, write down the units of this, this 10 ohm and 20 ohm so we'll try and do that let's see so okay right click the exit and then now after we right click you can you see that, that there's a crosshair you can actually connect the R1 to R2 using this wire here so we connect from here to here All right. so we connected the resistor R1 and R2 ok right click and we come out um, so now we will try to put in the units of this uh, resistor R1 right. so we, right, we click on it left click and then right click and see what happens ok so we have a resistor R, R1 here you can put the resistance in how many, how many units you put in a can and enter so now we have R1 as 10 ohms then here we left click on R2 and then we right click and you see here we can put the resistance here as 20 ohms okay so now we have uh, 10 and 20 ohms uh, right so we look at the how we can put in the voltages is a 10 and 20 volts okay so we have to go to this component here this component See, once you put a curse, cursor there you can see this component there's a sort of end gate like that so uh, click on that left click on that you'll see all these other type of components you can put on your circuit you go to voltage okay drag this to voltage and then you drag this until you see the voltage and you click on voltage then you see there's a voltage supply here and you can rotate as I said you can rotate the voltage supply but in this case you don't have to rotate so you just click left click here and you see a V1 and then you left click another one you see a V2 hmm? okay so right click to exit and you notice that's what we want right we have a 10 volts and a 20 volts okay so now we'll wire it we'll wire this to here and to your resistance 
right click and you wire this V2 to your R2 to your V2 okay so now we we'll also wire this to the 10 volts to your 20 volts okay so we we'll wire this you we'll click here on this wire and you can wire to your V2 okay so that's it we have a circuit already but uh, we also need to have a ground somewhere so this is what we need to do click on ground and we have to push the ground somewhere here right at the bottom of the circuit okay so right click and then go to the wire okay so this is where we get a circuit all done up okay we all oh, forgot to name the put in the units for v1 and v2 so we click on v1 left click on v1 right click on it and you can put in the dc value which is uh, in this case 10 volts okay and this one this one left click right click and then you put in the dc value as 20 volts okay so that's it so we have all the the uh, necessary units and we have a ground here so this is how you place all your components on your on your schematic thank you